Hello everyone, it's Karen saying I'm going to do another video. Today I'm going to do uh, go to a vinyl box set. First of all, I want to say I hope, um, hope everybody's well in the midst of this uh, coronavirus situation that's uh, going on in the world. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope my subscribers are cool, you know, are good, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, as I say, I'm going over my uh, vinyl set. This is called um, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band Live 1975 to 1985. I'm going to go over the box set. Um, what well, all the five records that are in here, um, and I'm going to go over some other Springsteen Live releases as well. So yeah, so first of all, we're going to talk about the box set. Now this was released in 1986 on CBS Records. It's a five record set containing re live recordings that Bruce Springsteen made from 1975 through to 1985. Now these come from like different tours and different places in places in the world. Um, so um, there's loads of songs that Bruce has un that previously never before released until this point live uh, that he done probably only in concert and not in a studio album. I don't know about some, but um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, the what we get in here and pretty much the songs as well. So if we show you front. There's the front. I really like that front cover picture of Bruce. It's the back. All the songs, recordings. I've actually been playing this quite a lot. Quite playing this. That's why I probably want to do the video. But um, I decided to do the video a long while uh, before um, this. Uh, that I decided to do it now. I've been planning to do it for a long while, so I thought I'd do a video whilst I've not got much to do. So yeah, do this. So um, this is the front of the. As I say, there's the box. Done. I'm gonna open it up and see what we get inside. It even comes with a book, about a thirty-something page. Booklet. It says the box. This box done. It's a book. Got over the book. Book similar. Beautiful picture. Oh, ah. The information where every song was recorded. What what date it was recorded. Um, even the information behind all the concerts as well as the recording. The people who helped make the live album and people who play in it as well. All the lyrics and photos. So yeah, I'm also probably going to talk about like the performances on here because I've seen, because um, there's loads of great performances on here, you know. They even talk a bit about them, <clears throat> you know. That's a nice picture of them, with, and I think that's New York City. Could be New York. That's a nice photo of them in New York City. That's a great picture there. That's another great one there. I think that could be the Born in the USA tour because there's the US flag there, so that probably could be the Born in the USA tour. from Bruce on stage as, <coughs> as well as the crowd. I really like uh, that picture at the top and that one as well and that one. Lots of pictures in there I really like and this one as well, the one at the bottom. I think that could be like Bruce Springsteen's home town, the place where he lived. In New Jersey. And that's a really great photo as well. And some written notes from Bruce. Based about the, how the live album kind of came about. Because in November 85, he was uh, given uh, by, his, by his manager a four song tape of some songs. Um, and I think he said that they might have something here. So they listened to different tapes from different tours and different concerts. And they kind of chose what ones to release, so those are the, these are the ones that they released. So um, yeah, now this had been long, long anticipated for many years. A Springsteen live album had been long anticipated, and there was huge anticipation for this release. And it obviously sold really well. This box set. So um, start with record one. It's a nice photo and the songs. <clears throat> I really love the versions on here of on record one of Thunder Road from the Roxy Theatre in Hollywood, recorded on the 18th of October, 
Um, there's a great version of Anna Dunn Razor Kane from the Roxy Theatre on the 7th of July 1978, also at the Roxy Theatre. And Spirit in the Night from the Roxy. Might not read out all the songs, um, but I love the version of 4th of July Asbury Park Sandy from the Nassau Coliseum on the 31st of December 1980 in New York. And um, there's even a song on here called... Uh, called Fire, which he gave to the Pointer Sisters, and I have that on a 12-inch single, because they released it on a 12-inch single. It says label there on CBS Records, as usual, Bruce's label. Nice red label design. And the sound on this is superb. You know, I've got a good, my, um, <coughs> study here, which I'm going to show you here, which is great, you know, a great sound system. And this live recording, you know, sounds great on that. <laughs> that. So yeah, I thought I'd do this video. I remember Bruce Springsteen t-shirt here, as you can see. So that the, the kind of the theme of the video. So it's record one. And there were some songs that I'd never heard of before, and that I'd never heard before until this box. So um, it's kind of cool. Okay, uh, I love the version of Backstreets from the 7th of July, 1978, Ros Roxy Theatre Concert. Same with Rosalie that come out tonight, which is from the same concert. And there's even a cover song here called Raise Your Hand. I can't remember who that's by, but I really like that song. And side four, all the performances are great. Hungry Heart from the NASA concert on December the 28th, 1980. Because in, towards the end of 1980, Bruce did a, uh, three concerts at the NASA Coliseum, all of which were recorded and put on this release, and some of the songs were put on this release. <coughs> And Two Hearts from the Meadowlands concert in New Jersey on the 6th of in July 81. Um, same with Cadillac Ranch from that concert. Because Bruce did a series of nights there and they were recorded. Um, you Can Look But You Better Not Touch in here is good as well. So it's a performance of Independence Day from Meadowlands Arena as well in July of 81. Those are some of the dates there. So yeah, side four is probably my favourite side out of all the sides in here. And that's a great photo as well. Bruce and the band on stage. So yeah, I've, um, I've actually seen, I got to see Bruce Springsteen live in 2016 at Hamden Park. He was doing a celebratory to her 35th anniversary of his album The River, my t-shirt's from, from 2016. And I got to see the concert in Hamden and it was a fantastic concert in Glasgow and that was a great concert. And record... Three. Now this is a great photo. I really love that blue stage light, and I love the like the fan lights as well. I think that looks really great. Side five has a lot of great songs here. Badlands, which is from a Arizona concert at the Arizona State University on November fifth, nineteen eighty, and that concert in Arizona was also filmed as well. And I remember seeing that um, that concert on um, BBC Four. Because they showed it on BBC4 television a few years ago and I thought that was a fantastic show. You can also get it on YouTube as well. That's a great performance. There's also a great version of Cadillac Ranch from that concert. But that version's not on the box set. But uh, anyway. And then there's a song in here called Because the Night. Which Bruce gave to a singer called Patti Smith. I think he recorded it during the Darkness and the Town sessions. But it was never released until a few years later. Um, so yeah. Um, there's also things like Darkness and the Town. Side 5 has also great live moments as well. Um, on side six, he does a cover of "This Land Is Your Land," uh, which is a Woody Guthrie song, I think. Yeah, I think it's a Woody Guthrie song. Who was a folk singer? Seven. I've got all side seven so far. How many I heard side eight, nine, and ten? But I'll hopefully get to that maybe at some point today. That's record four. 
And the last one, they chose a great picture for the last record. I think that's him at Wembley Stadium in 1985 at the Born in the USA tour. What's the songs there? So there's that one. Now I'm going over some of the live, other live releases you can get Bruce Springsteen on. Now some of the um, Springsteen releases I'm going to show you that feature live recordings come from singles. So, uh, seven, eight singles. So here's some examples. Jersey Girl was first released, I think the first sort of live Springsteen release was on um, the single for Cover Me, 1984, with a cover of Tom Waits' song Jersey Girl from the Meadowlands Arena on July 9th, 1981, and that was later released on this set. Then in 1985 we got a single release of My Hometown, with Santa Claus is Coming to Town, recorded at CW Post in Greenville, New York on December 12th, 1975. Then in 1980s we got Tougher Than The Rest, which featured a version of Tougher Than The Rest live, recorded at the Los Angeles Sports Arena on April the 27th, 1988. And this is the single for it. And that's a great photo. Spare Parts in 1988 featured a live version of Spare Parts recorded in Sheffield on July 9th, 1988. And the version of Better Days, Better Days featured Tougher Than The Rest live in the B-side from, from 1988 as well. So this version of Tougher Than The Rest has been released a few times. An example is this, the Chimes of Freedom EP, which contains Tougher Than The Rest live and um, Be True, which is a B-side from the river, recorded at the Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit on March 28th, 1988. Side 2 features a cover of a Bob Dylan song called Chimes of Freedom that was recorded in Stockholm in Sweden on July 3rd, 1988. And Born to Run live, acoustic ver an acoustic version of that song on April 27th, 1988 at the LA Sports Arena. So, yeah, that's a good, so that's a good EP. And this is not an, uh, this is a, an American import that was released in 1988 after the, the I think just after the Tunnel of Love tour had ended. And these, then their CP contains recordings from that tour. And this is on Columbia, which was the label in America. In America. And uh, some songs of that box set were later released on this 12 inch single called Fire, which I've showed a bit earlier. And there's other songs like a song called For You that's not on the box set, but I think that's from another the Rock July 78 Roxy Theatre concert. With Born to Run, No Surrender, Born to Run, which is from the which is from Giant Stadium on August the 21st, 1985. No Surrender from Meadowlands Arena on August 6th, 1984. And 10th Avenue phrase out from Meadowlands Arena on the 20th of August 1984, so two weeks after that. So, yeah. CBS. They also did a 12 inch of Born to Run live. I don't have that, but I'll hopefully get a hold of that. And then in 1993, so about two, so about seven years after that, six, seven years after that, they put out this. Bruce Springsteen in concert MTV plug. Now this is a live album that contains recordings of a concert that Bruce did for MTV. MTV plug was like this unplugged was a television show with acoustics, but Bruce Mayland did it in an electric set. And I've got the DVD for that, and it's a fantastic concert. Although he's got a different band with him, but uh, it's still a great, a great concert. Songs there. Now there was also, and I've also got, uh, recently got this, the VHS of it, just recently. I sometimes collect VHS. I've also got the video for that. That's that one. And, uh, so I'm going to show you the record of it there. I've also got the CD of this, and the CD of the live box as well. I've seen a slew of the lyrics on Columbia. 
they replicate it like the original. This isn't an original pressing from 1993. This is a 2018 reissue, but uh, it's pretty faithful to the original copy. And this is the this is some tour dates he played in Europe in 1993 in company of his. Uh, Human Touch and Lucky Town albums, so uh, quite interesting. Um, my dad uh, saw the one in Glasgow, which was the first date of the European tour in '93, so that was quite cool. There, he got to see the first date. In 2009, a few years later, he released a DVD called London Calling Live in Hyde Park. Not yet seen it, but should hopefully be good. This is from I think the Working on a Dream tour. That's a great photo. And they also did in 2002 a DVD uh, called The Rising Live in Barcelona. Don't have that, but my dad's got that, and he and I sometimes watch that. And um, so, uh, and there's also um, many, uh, now there's many ways you can get British Live performances. There's this, there's these, and even the Chimes of Freedom EP that I've shown. But there's another way you can get like complete concerts. There's one way of like bootlegging because many Bruce Springsteen concerts including the Roxy Theatre both 75 and 78 concerts have been bootlegged by different Bruce Springsteen fans over the years um, and you can get like but what Bruce does he does like a, a live archive where he has complete concerts that you can download or you can get on CD now I don't have any of those download or CD but hopefully I might do you know who knows but I think that's a great idea of putting like a full live concert on a website to download like soundboard recordings not odd not crappy audience ones like official soundboard recordings I think that's a great idea sometimes I wish the Tom Petty State would do that kind of idea but uh, <laughs> hey that's, uh, that's another video uh, but uh, anything else to say that's it hope you like this video like comment subscribe hope to do another video soon since I've not, not got a lot to do thanks for watching I'll see you again soon